Morning girls, how are we doing back here again with Chantel and this one is called Singari Seafood Mukbang. Uh, it has like stuff on the thumbnail like bad Muslim weigh in, all that kind of shit. Uh, I, I look at it, the bad Muslim thing, I'm, my, I just can't help but feel it's going to be a dream again. Maybe I'll be entirely wrong, maybe it'll be her addressing rumours for being a bad Muslim and her like... You must be mistaking me with someone else. Actually, I've read the Quran uh, 42 times. The reason it's still on the first page is because I've actually just finished reading it again, and I'm just starting again. <laughs> kind of takes several seats. Something like that. M maybe. Who knows? The last time she did something like that was the going out in public without an abaya scared face, and then it was like, I had a dream where I was in public without an abaya. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> just fantastic um weigh-in monday you see for my weigh-ins i immediately have all this i don't know what this even is like i just don't like it i can't even tell it's like an optical illusion i can't even tell how deep it is i can't tell if it's mainly tinfoil or and it's just like, like a, a centimeter layer of burnt shade on top of it who knows uh fried rice fantastic let's get into it guys she looks like death warmed over she's still wearing the same top from the farm walk love it hello guys hello Hi. Welcome to having another dinner with me. Well, she seems sad already. Yeah. Me? So, um, yeah. Um, so before people so apart how much rice I eat, not that I care. This is a totally small... Not that I care, by the way, here, but I'm going to show it to you and prove it to you. <laughs> I don't care. However, then goes into explaining it. <laughs> like, just... Do you know what, bro? Whatever. Fantastic. Small portion. Sure. Okay, so... Is that a... Well, see, I don't know. Maybe, hey, guys, maybe maybe Northern Ireland, we're living in the dark ages here, guys. But that wouldn't be described as a small portion here. That would be described as a, what's a, a, a portion here. That's literally what you get when you get, like, a Chinese on, like, a Friday night. That is, like, just a normal size portion. <laughs> but no, Chantel, oh, you got a small portion. You're so fucking dainty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to drink, mug with ice. Yep, fantastic. I'm having... Some unamate. unamate. How'd I guess? Oh my god. It looks like fizzed up. Millie, like, it's a powder, so maybe it fizzes up a wee bit when you shake it, but I just I just naturally assume it's not, and it's actually like fucking, I don't know, like li literally melted butter or something like that, and that's why it gets a yellow fucking taste. I need energy big time. Plus, it tastes like, yeah, it has sure. no sugar and it tastes like iced tea, so it's, for me, I love it. Uh huh. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna be a long Fresh video, isn't it? I'm just going to put that down with the rest of my rice. I mean, I went down on the other table. All right. Why do you have a right double table? Having, um, so weird. Gari. So I have some I know. bread and cheese over here. Tahini. <laughs> Where, why is the cheese hidden over here? <laughs> this is my backup cheese. This is the problem when she says, rice, this is my rice. No, small, small portion of brown rice. No, not brown rice. It looks like fried rice. What the fuck are you talking about? My small portion of rice. This is why I say, like, you can't trust her. Because if she, we know she has cheese hiding under this table, what else is under there? Rice. Some eggplant. Ugh. I don't like eggplant. Some not at all. leaves. Yep. And fish. This is tilapia. It's fish. And fish. And it's, um, single body stuff. And fish. Flayed and grilled. Uh-huh. Okay. Fantastic. Or like butterfly, I guess you would say. Lemon. Butterfly? Is it butterfly? <laughs> I realize she's trying to say it's like a butterfly. You know, I didn't. My head immediately went to it's like butter fried. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Bismillah. She desperately was trying to call the cat over there because, you know, like, I, I guess she just wants to convince us the cat doesn't entirely hate us. So she always just tries to desperately call. Like, usually when I'm eating, the first thing I don't do is try and call my animals over to me. But, you know, maybe that's just me and I'm not an animal. I don't know. I don't I don't know, guys. It could be. It could be anything. Oh, it's going to take forever. Let's try these grape leaves. See, this is the first time I've been, like, caught up, caught up with one of her videos. Because I might actually do, like, a, maybe a quick live stream reaction. Because I, I really don't sit, see, see me sitting story and, like, doing, like, a very long reaction to a lot of her live streams. Because they're so boring right now. But... It's gonna be weird going back through, and I always have to have like a video out that's like over an hourish long because I'm usually reacting to like one or two videos. But now I'm sitting here reacting to this, and I, like it is 25 minutes long, but it's also a mukbang, so it's gonna be a lot of oh, 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 really? Oh, you're gonna chew on that? Oh, you're gonna chew on that as well? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Grip leaves, bismillah, guys. I love them. Hot pepper. Hot pepper. <laughs> Windmill batter? Like, what? Well, like, come on! <laughs> it's, it's just always like that time she had the tuna sandwich and she put it into a tuna. And just held to the camera and went, tuna! <laughs> just like, 
Yeah, I, I, I know. I know. It's like she's like a fucking Pokemon. You know why Pokemon can only say their name? Like, Squirtle, Squirtle. She's kind of like that. Or like a fucking like cart, like a comic book hero shouting out his finishing move, but instead it's just Hot Pepper. Fish. So. Oh, we got to sew. Today we is way in Monday. Yep, it is. Those are all bones. And. Ugh. Just, I weighed my uh, uh, up six kilogram. Just kind of, you know, just kind of up six kilogram. Myself. I believe that entirely. Yep. But tahini makes the rice very creamy. <laughs> <laughs> I usually say that right after I gain six kilogram. Like we all know it's not six kilogram because that scale's not even close to accurate. But whatever. And I've gained weight. Well, no shit. We can see you. Usually for me, if I go walking for four to five hours per day, her claim, not mine. And I do really well on my diet. Her claim, not mine. I usually put on six kilograms in like a week. <laughs> like that's it. That's that's how it works, right? It's all it's all probably muscle, guys. You can look at look at this fucking woman here. Oh my god. And I know why. <laughs> I explained why in my video yesterday. See, I'm gonna say that you actually didn't, because in your video yesterday, you kind of like fumbled all over the place where you said like, "Oh, I've been binging," but then like you would only really point to the Taco Bell. Thing, which you claimed was like one meal even though it was like obviously two meals you claimed it was only like one meal so like i think eating a taco bell like a week ago probably wouldn't relate to a six kilogram increase now and then you also pointed out the chicken pot pie which you claimed was a healthy chicken pot pie and you claimed you ate it over like three days so i don't know maybe it's just me but <laughs> maybe it's just me but like that wouldn't lead to like a six kilogram increase because if you put that taco bell and the chicken pot pie together and just like weighed them they are not six kilograms together why think that? The B word. The B word. B B word equal. Ben 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 Sheet guy is Ben Sheet. I don't know how even that even came through my microphone because it counts as the fact. Ben cheating, Jesus Christ! Like, uh, is she scared? I don't, I wonder because, like, obviously I have ad block, but I wonder if this is like monetized this video because it's obviously her sitting here binging, but she's like scared of saying binging. Like, because, like, you know, obviously, YouTube, Terms of Service, everything in God, she's terrified. Her, her, her account's going to get nuked. What? <laughs> it's binge eating, guys. It's binge eating. You can say binge eating. Calm down. The word, guys. What does it feel like? 450 pints? No, don't know what I can't say I have. Like, I was like, watching TikTok. A ball? And I, I know, do you know what? I've also never felt like watching TikToks, so I can't relate to being 450 points a ball or watching TikToks. Well, I think those all are connected, though. <laughs> so bad. Oh, a few Italian. God, it's like a renaissance painting here. I want that on a mural inside of my house. It's a very Northern Irish thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. Like I said, this is the time when she was doing her cooking, and it's like, okay, have a chat with us while you're doing your, your cooking. Oh, egg, 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 because she can't, like, think of anything to say. But when she's, like, just sitting eating, like, she could just sit and just ramble about, like, a TikTok she saw three weeks ago. Grandma's. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> you can't trust her. You can't trust her. There's three more fucking fish down there and a backup McDonald's in case she doesn't like it. What's that noise? Can I follow, follow a few Italian grams. Is that salad under the table? Do you? I, I just... Oh my god, we're gonna get a fake story about like Italians. <laughs> we're gonna get a fake story about Italians. They're like super old. They're like super old, and I was like, yeah. I'm never, I'm never gonna make it there. <laughs> what are being super old's like? I'll never get to feel that way. Like every day. <laughs> okay. The, the the face I make when even I don't know what the fuck my point was. <laughs> like, I watch TikToks of like fuck Italians. The eat pasta. Is this like the setup to like a Garfield comic or something? Like, oh, what the fuck was? It? Is Bill Murray gonna pop out here? <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? I, I, the other day, I was watching a video about some Irish guy, and he was literally a potato. The end. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Unamate. Yeah, tasty. Yep. That was a good story, though. And they're not even in the best shape. Like, Bro, you're a circle. You can't talk about shapes. Fuck off. They're not super thin or anything like that. So? But they're super old and alive. But they make... <laughs> 
I really I thought someone was just making a TikTok about his dead granny. He just had a like, marionette in the fucking corner or something like what the fuck is the point? Like, this is like is this going back to her delusion where she is like, you know, four hundred and fifty pounds and like super morbidly obese and literally a planetoid, but she always used to compare herself because people came out and said about the Kybella uh, woman that apparently she's like a bit over she's like a bit chunky, she's a bit thick, maybe, you know? But like Foodie was like comparing herself to that woman saying, well, by the way, my, the girl that my husband cheated on, she was also fat. But she was like, you describe her as thick with three C's, whilst Foodie Beauty is thick with like, I don't know, like an entire alphabet after it. Make everything from scratch. Okay. Do you want to try that bit of the story? Maybe making things from scratch, unlike the fucking chicken pot pie? So I think the quality of the food matters. 450 pound woman trying to teach us about food. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, bro. I'm glad you're saying this while having takeout. You know what I mean? If you watched until now, put a fish in the chat so I can eat that one too. I'm really fucking hungry still. Like, I can't believe she's trying to like, farm engagement. This is like, I, I, the guy I cover Boogie, back in like the old day of YouTube, I don't know, maybe they still do it for like children's YouTubers or something like that, but they always go, if you made it to the end of this video, you hit the like, smash like the subscribe button and then type uh, Dingle Dongle in the chat to show me that you're a true mega fan, that kind of shit. She's actually trying to like do that. The only thing I hate are the bones. Okay. I mean, maybe she just don't eat those two, so, if I'm being really honest with you. That being said. Just dig into that there, bro. Oh, go on, dig away. <laughs> um, that being said, <laughs> good, good, good sentence there. Yeah. Right, is she looking for her point in the fish? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, that being said, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, Jesus Christ, we really sit and get a story about how Italians eat pasta and then she started thumbing a fish. I was like, I was like, you know what? It's weird, people can live a long time. Jesus Christ. Uh, like when I was, when I did lose the seven kgs. When, when, when was this? Point to me on the doll when this fucking happened. I pretty much just ate like a bit of everything. How the fuck does that relate to grannies eating pasta? What, what the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that twist. But less of it and I walked. Sure, bro. Oh, yeah, but sure. Of it, and I was walking a lot, you know, so... How was your walk today, then? <laughs> She's really saying this was, like, binge eating, like, an entire takeout menu. Uh, with, with her fucking entire tub of cheese hidden under the table. Well, okay, bro, I'm gl glad you're pricing what you preach. Like, what? Are you going for a walk anytime soon? I bread every day. Pasta, rice. But I added veggies, proteins, like a bit of everything. She's trying to explain just what a balanced diet is. Like, yeah, bro, it's a balanced diet. Calories in, calories out, the one consistent weight loss. Yeah, no one said you couldn't. Most people's concerns with what you ate was because you're super I diabetes. Were you not? She said binge eating. She said it. She said the word, guys. It's not a B word anymore. Grip leaves. <laughs> a, a view Salah has seen exactly zero times. It's very eye-opening that only a couple. How the fuck is... Like, how the fuck is down to here on your finger getting fat? <laughs> like, how the, how the, is that possible? Can your fingers get fat? I immediately just looked at my own fingers. I was like, can your fingers get fat? Is that, like, real? <laughs> is that real? Is the sausage finger thing, like, real? Well, like a few. B words. You already said binge. It's so weird you're so inconsistent with this. Bring right back up. Uh-huh. Well, it can't, but, you know, whatever. What was her few binges? Like, that's the thing. She never admitted to anything. She said she had a Taco Bell a week ago, and then she had her healthy chicken pot pie, which she claimed lasted several days. So where the fuck was the binge in that? <clears throat> Good story. Cheese? Cheese? I like to think that every once in a while she puts it off screen there and she just dips her cheese into it. So, what is So, it? what did you say? <laughs> She's... <laughs> She thumbed her asshole for Salah. She's going to call him over here and get him to suck it off. Why are you intently staring at the camera? What the fuck? Oh, I just noticed she doesn't have her wedding ring on. Oh, I just noticed that. I I, I just, I haven't been paying attention to it a lot recently, but yeah, she doesn't have her wedding ring on. Maybe I'll have to start looking in other videos and all, but yeah, it's kind of weird Like the wedding ring's gone. Maybe, maybe she took it off for eating. Who fucking knows? I don't think you're meant to use your left hand with eating, but I'm not also entirely sure because I don't care. 
Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. You, I don't think you can say anyway when there's no sentence or point before that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get back on track. I'm gonna get back on tra track. <laughs> You know, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, you know, after this, after this meal, after this meal, I'll get back on track. Trust me, guys. The exercise was helping a lot, especially with my pain. Was it? I just, I, I, I don't believe you, but like, okay. If that's true, why don't you just like start like right now? Like, why, why, why are we doing this? Why are we having another walk video? When was the last walk video? Was it the farm? Was, was she just humiliated by the farm so much she decided not to ever do it again? Good conversation. That was a good thing to include, just you thumbing around inside your mouth. Like? Like? Like I haven't been out walking. Oh, just back to your hands again? <laughs> Bro, just pick one. Pick hands, hands or fork. <laughs> one of the two, please. And Look, she's so desperate. Like, I'm probably gonna have to quit the quick cuts there, but she's so desperate. Like, she's just like, oofing it into your mouth. It's like the spoon wasn't going fast enough. As a result, um, um, my pain is really bad today. That's why I'm kind of sure, bro. Not in a great mood. I decided to not work out today, and as such, my pain's bad today. Usually, your pain's bad after work, work, working out, especially when you're 450 pounds and have never moved in your entire fucking life. Usually, you're sore like after that or the next day. You usually don't get sore when you stop working out. You know, if you get kind of get me at, at all. I, I'm sorry, bro. I just don't. Like, especially if she's going to try and claim, well, I stopped doing these, like, four-hour walks, so I instantly just put on six kilograms again. That would imply that for someone her size, she'd have to be eating, like, fuck, I don't even, 8,000 calories a day, because her normal maintenance weight would be, like, 4,000 calories a day or something like that. You know? Yep. I, I don't know, I but, gotta get back out you there. know, didn't do it. I gotta get back out there. He goes back to thumbing her fish. What is she yes, doing? Yes, indeed I do. Yes, indeed I do. I gotta take all the bones out. Hold on. I noticed. Maybe you should have done that first. It's like a predator. She's just ripping the spine right out of this fucking fish. Come on. Yep. Yep. Bro. What the? F have you ever heard "Don't play with your food"? Have you ever heard that before? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This is uh, this is an experience. I like fish, like, uh, a lot, but I generally don't like fish where I have to spend a lot of time. If it's like, got some bones in it or something like that, that's fine. But I don't like it where I have to spend, the like, ages deboning a fish. It's kind of like crab. I like crab meat, um, but, like, I don't like the process of, like, deshelling a crab. Uh, have I ever had lobster? I think I've probably ha had lobster. Yeah, I have. But I, I, it's, I think a lobster is a lot easier to deshell than a crab. From my, my memory, at least. <laughs> at least my memory. I don't really like having to deshell things or deep bone things. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of boring. Because it never feels like when you get to the meat, it was worth all the effort. But I could so, just be lazy with my food, yes, I guess. I... So. Some weight. I want... If you did, you know, like one of those breakdowns, you know, if you check someone's like... Facebook history or tweet history or something like that. You can do that thing where it's like most like tweeted words. I wonder if her most said word in this video is so. But I will lose it again. Will you? <laughs> she's sitting like binge eating. This is she's bitten like four different things since my last jump cut because it is just like grabbing. She grabs everything. She can't just have like one thing. She can't have like a scoop of rice and then talk. She has to grab some rice. Then she has to grab some fish. Then she has to grab the pepper. Then she has to grab the, the stuffed grape leaves. Then she has to grab some bread. It is she just goes around the entire thing before she's able to speak again. And oh, but I'm gonna lose weight. I do you know what I can see. I can see the conviction right here. Inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What are we doing? Are you looking for your other rice? <clears throat> Finish this one first. Oh, so. <laughs> Why did she not lick that one off? That was weird that she suddenly decided she wasn't going to keep licking it off. There must be jump cuts that I haven't missed. Okay, there must be jump cuts I, that I have missed and an instant jump cut. Because that drink definitely is, is refilled. There's definitely more in that drink. Making me sneezy. Is it? I haven't noticed. Not sure what. <laughs> so, another thing I want to talk about. 
It's just non-stop eating. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't wait. What are we going to talk about? Another thing I want to talk about eats four more things. Which I believe I've expressed concern over before. But... I don't even know. I broke... I got lost somewhere in this this conversation because this conversation, well, this sorry conversation. I mean, this sentence has taken place over thirty seconds with seven breaks. So I I, I don't even know where we're going anymore. I mean, she just doesn't like pick it up and just suck the fucking spine clean. I'm debating saying this. Oh my god! In Islam. Are you gonna pretend to? Come on, bro. You're gonna pretend to care? Are you really? Are we? Are we getting this LARP ready? When you are repentant, you should only do it to Allah. Uh huh. Sure. Not revealing your sins to others. Uh huh. Sure, bro. But well, sure, well, surely your sin is gluttony, and like, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here, bro? <laughs> like, so I think I think you've you know what I think we can safely say you've already fucked that one up. There was a comment. Oh, I can't wait. Was it from one of your sock puppets or a real person? Sister. Okay, so probably from a sock puppet. This is what I say about the gluttony thing. It is like, we can't, like, she's talking about, like, atoning for sins and repenting sins and how you can only, like, show your sin to Allah and all this shit. And we're sitting here, like, every other word is eating shit. I feel, you know, like other Muslims. My fucking God. I thought she was going to eat the tissue. I'm so, like, I've got such a Pavlovian response to things going near her mouth. I thought she was going to eat the tissue and not continue that sentence. I have a right to remind you of the right path. Not in a judgmental way, but in a caring way. Sure, bro. Whatever. When you're going off track. It's so magic. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Not being condescended by people who are not even Muslim or religious. Uh-huh. And also commit immoral acts. Uh-huh. Like what, gluttony? <laughs> I broke! I'm sorry, I come The holier than night thing does just does not work when first you're fucking LARPing, second, this. But... One second, before I talk about my sin, I gotta eat some cheese. Cheese! <laughs> yeah, bro, I know! <laughs> like, what the fuck? So, back to me talking about sin. As I pour more fucking sauce in my fried rice. Fellow sister. Fellow sister, Pepper. Eggplant. Tissue. I saw my community posts. Were you retaliating against? Haters. Oh my fucking god. At any point are you gonna get more than three words in a row? Like, are we? Please, just... Oh, she's done. She's topping it off off screen. And that's that what engaging in the drama and backbiting is not something that I should be doing. Are we doing this storyline again? She's done this, like, exact same statement, like, 42 times about how she's never addressing haters again, how she's such a pious, holy woman now, and she'll never do it again. Were we really doing this again? It's not what I thought the bad Muslim thing was going to be about. I thought the bad Muslim thing was going to be about eating, like, 16 people's worth of food. Yep. And? And? That's 100% true. And don't say to me that... This is 1.25 speed. ...haters or reaction channels reminding you, saying it's haram, haram. I don't mean in that way. I mean, like, from another former sister. Is she a former sister? Did she die or is she no longer a Muslim? Like, your story's already changed. Gently reminding. So. From a former sister guy. <clears throat> in a non-mocking manner. Jesus Christ. Um, which I appreciate. So, you're right. Uh, do, do, I wonder, at any, does she even know where her sentences are going half the time she talks? Because, like, I, I'm just sitting staring, like, cross-eyed like this, going, like, what the fuck? What are you even saying? So I took those posts down. Again, you, you deleted your community tab rages again. Like, don't make it sound. Well, actually, as a, a, a Muslim sister who also was a former person uh, like, approached me and said, and I was like, ah, and I saw the light of Allah and I decided to take down the post. Even though, like, she usually does that, she usually deletes them like 10 minutes after posting them. So this isn't like a new occurrence in any way. What? <laughs> like, come on, bro. I'm going to try to take down most of my posts from my past that are not. You already have. Like, what? She already has. That's what she, what? Wasn't that her whole LARP? Like, this, literally, the second she got with Salah, she did. She deleted, like, what was it, like, 30 million views worth of videos off her account? Not who I want to be anymore. 
you want to be this? <laughs> like, do you, like, do you want to be this? Do you want to be like any of the, the depictions of yourself recently? Like, because like, I don't, I don't know about Islam at all, but I'm, I'm assuming gluttony is a sin. I'm also assuming like pride is probably a sin. You know, like the flexing your brand new car and shit like that. The things that she said she would never do because she's such a, a pious, humble woman now. Like, so surely all that shit should be going too, right? Now, before I get holy, I need more cheese. For showing my hair. <laughs> yeah, that's the important thing. I need to get rid of those those videos where I showed my hair, guys. Uh, uh, oh my god. Is it because people have done like retro reacts to her recently and they've been laughing at her? Is 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 that why she suddenly needs to go back and be an even more pious woman instead of just getting rid of everything that made her like in a bad light? Now she has to get rid of anything that shows her hair. Yes, it's still online. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh huh. I can only do what I can control. So nothing, literally, nothing, literally, bro. You're sitting here binge eating. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? This shit you can control. Um, you know why she's been wearing this one a lot? Is she doing that because this is all that fits her oh. now? Like, is this like her new biggest one? Because like, you know, like I pointed it. This is like I don't know, like three or four videos recently. She's appeared in this one, and this is isn't one that she usually would wear. So I'm assuming this one she has grown into it. Is, does the B word, B word mean blather as opposed to binge? Because she's just blathering on about fucking nothing in between mouthfuls. A lot of people eat with their hands here, by the way. <laughs> you used to do that in Canada too, so don't try and make it seem like it's a cultural thing. It's just that the, the cutlery is getting in your way. Now, I don't feel like... Uh... Literally every word something goes in her mouth. I'm being the best person I can be. No. I'm no. Creating. Well, no, just here. This existing. In drama. This existing. This existing. I I just don't feel like I'm being the best I can be. And she like fucking hoofs another handful of food into her face. But no, calling of FFG course. a goblin. Oh, that's... When someone's attacking us. That's when I'm bad. But also, it's self-defense, by the way, because she's attacked me first. <laughs> Especially our looks. Uh-huh. What? First, you know, instinct out of anger. Is it? I don't know. Maybe the first instinct for me when someone attacks me is I laugh. Like maybe, maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's like, maybe it's not like have an absolute meltdown and like go like I I hope your heads die. Whatever the usual shit she does when she reacts to people is to make fun of them back. Is it? But that's against Islam to do that. Have you have you find the point in that fish? The only thing that will matter. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, let's have a wait. Don't hate those who lied to you, cheated and betrayed you. It will teach you to rely on Allah. What the fuck are you talking about? It will teach you to rely on Allah and expect less from creation. They will be answerable for the deeds and you will be accountable for your deeds. Forgive them and leave everything to Allah. He is just... Cool, bro. <laughs> That's a really long way of saying turn the other cheek, isn't it? <laughs> fuck me sideways. What the fuck was that word salad? Can we leave this up for the rest of the video, though? I actually would really appreciate it. Aww, we're back to this. Ugh. What a time to cut back as well. That's how we've treated other people. Uh-huh. Like shit. In the face of adversity. Like shit, constantly. Are we seriously just doing this storyline again? How we conduct ourselves in the face of conflict. Uh, it, it, bro, we're seriously just... I, I'm kind of bored now because I feel like I'm repeating myself and she is just repeating herself. Because it is, we've covered this storyline... 40 times with foodie like the, the fact that this has been like literally like an eight minute long conversation of her basically saying i should stop like freaking the fuck out online so much that is it i i, I stopped her entire conversation with her c c fucking muslim sister current person muslim who, who contacted her all that shit he lives in a cage let him enjoy life whatever <laughs> is that your justification i'm, I'm probably skipping all the way here no, I like how long has it been? Like five minutes, six minutes? Jesus. She started like she said it was more of what you expected. How she's such a good person. She needs to focus on everyone who loves her because so many people love her. She's so amazing. And all haters suck and are awful and the worst people who've ever existed. And they only are like that because they're all terrible people who hate themselves and all all suck and she's so much better. Oh, just the usual shit you get from one of these talks. I can't believe this has been like 18 minutes 
of this and we, Jesus fucking Christ. She got to the point where she was nearly like sucking the fucking like <laughs> the, the tin foil clean. Then she started screaming repeatedly at Julia, trying to get Julia to come over. Like even started picking up bits of fish and started waving them in the air, screeching. And Julia just ignored her. And now she said she's gonna instead give it to Howie because he lives in a cage. So let him enjoy himself. And it's like, holy shit, I've never seen something sum her up so well. <laughs> I wonder if this is how she views it. Because she's like, I bring him cheese and fish every day. Because, you know, it's like, bro, it's probably not good for a hamster to wonder in your fucking eighth Howie at this point. But I want is this how she seriously like like actually explains it to herself? It's like, well, I live in a cage. I literally sit here in a living room all day by myself. That's why she live streams every single day now because she is just lonely sitting there stuffing her fucking face i i i don't know what i don't think you could sum up her life any better than that we're probably skipping to the end here night boys yolo anyway um this is too spicy oh no all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye wow that was pathetic <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. It's all so sad. It's not actually, it's quite funny, but you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, I guess maybe I'll do, I don't really know. I'm looking at my, like, recording here, and, like, I have, I don't know, probably less than 30 minutes worth, and I don't really like to do that. So maybe it will quickly go and just do a recap of her live stream at the end. If you don't care about that, that'll, that'll be the video here, guys. So, yeah, we're going to jump to that, I guess. Okay, guys, so this is a live stream. It's called, like, Make Me Laugh or something like that. I've already watched this bit. That's why I'm talking over it, because it is just her awkwardly staring at the screen. You know, like I said, she doesn't have a personality, and she waits for people to give her a personality. It takes about 30 seconds before someone finally enters chat and finally talks to her and it is just this the entire time while she's waiting desperately for someone to come and talk to her hey ty on there you go 34 seconds 34 seconds g embarrassing like actually actually embarrassing i just wanted to show that because i always find it really funny and it just proves my point more she does not have a personality she has to wait for someone to say something for her to respond to she can't just talk by herself like i wonder you know why like everyone has like an internal monologue well actually i don't know if i i've read somewhere that not everyone has an internal monologue but you know you always have like an internal monologue going on i want does she like when she sits alone in the house between meals does she just sit there and just blankly stare at the wall like, does she just, like, what does she do? Like, what does she think about? Does, I want to step into the mind of the foodie beauty and see what she actually thinks about in her day-to-day -day life. Pause. Ghostface Beezer, hello. Lulu. Ghostface Beezer, hello. Hey, hey, hi. Hi. Hey, hello. And she does, she does this, and I'm, I'm going to skip through, like, all the introductions and all. Like, because she always just acts like she cares about her Beezers, but you know she doesn't because the whole mu music business Marty thing where they were getting docs, and she was like, mm, well... I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't. You guys should be more careful. You know that kind of shit. Even though it's like her fault because she was like antagonizing music Biz Marty. Like I obviously don't agree with it because I don't agree with like doxing or anything like that. But like when she's trying to act like she's so excited to see her beezers and she really likes her beezers and gets on with them, it's like so obviously not true. So we're we're literally just gonna now just skip to like interesting things happening during this live stream because apart from that, I just don't care. I might even stick up to one point five times speed. I don't really like doing that because I know. People might listen to me at a faster speed. And like I usually listen to people at a two times speed. So if I'm listening to them talking on live stream and they're watching someone else who's at 1.5 speed, that can be like too hard for me to listen to the person that they're listening to. So I try not to do that, but we'll see, guys. Ghostface, I don't speak any Arabic. You don't see that as a bad thing? <laughs> well, I've I've lived in the Middle East for a year and I have a, a Syrian husband. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm a very, very, very good fundamental religious Islamic woman. Is it Arabic? I don't, I don't speak any of that. Why would I want to do that? I just live in the country where the primary language is Arabic. What? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, that is, I, why, is why I just always joke. I think I still remember like GCSE French better than she could speak fucking Arabic. And that is fucking ridiculous. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's been nothing so far. It has just been... Hey, Jesus. No, uh, no, I, I, I haven't uh, been crying, guys. No, I'm, I, I'm fine. I haven't cried today. <laughs> um, my day was busy with cleaning, but I got it all done. Now I feel good. Hi. And uh. Uh, hi. No. Now I hope it leaves me alone. No, it actually explain that. How the fuck can your day be busy with cleaning? 
Like, it's not that big an apartment. How the fuck would it take you a day to clean your apartment? Especially when you clean your fit enough to walk five hours a day. So it's not like it really... It's like, oh, I got up and I washed this and I sat down. Remember, this is like her and Amber. Her and Amber like to do this claim where it's like every single day, I love clean. I clean so much. So much, guys. I love cleaning so much. To try and, like, make it sound like they're doing exercise and also to explain why they're, quote-unquote, so busy, even though neither of them have a life or neither of them do anything, except their house is always filthy. And secondly, neither of their houses are actually big. That You literally couldn't clean your house every single day, all day. That you, you, I don't know, unless you're, like, taking it apart, like, fiber by fiber and, like, washing with a toothbrush each individual fiber of your couch, I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that. Hi, Megasaurus. There's always something to do. What's your favorite part of cleaning? The end. What did the biscuits say when a she, The reason she said that is because she has never cleaned before, and she's like, fuck, I don't, I don't know. Flopping? Is that what... It, flopping. You know the thing you have a bucket of, like, water, and you got to flop? Is it a floppy flop about? Oh, no, I just flop about. It's called mopping. Never... <laughs> was that was that worth it? <laughs> was that worth it? <laughs> I ran over it. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. See, this... This oh, you like vacuuming? This this is like this is all of her live streams. It's just lent in staring at the chat because I don't know. I'm assuming like she's half blind. There's no reason why she's letting needs to be lent in this close. Staring at the chat, just like Pete's does, waiting for someone to say something for her to react to because she has no personality. Actually, vacuuming is no, I don't shave my head. Vacuuming is like um Um Vacuuming. What's that one again? Is that the one with the brush? Or is that the one with the... <laughs> like, bro, come on. Like, like, look at her sitting here trying to remember what the fuck vacuuming is. It's satisfying hearing all the dirt be picked up. <laughs> uh -huh. My cat is cute, that's all. That's what's wrong, Messi. My cat's cute. Hi, it's freezing. I love she's so miserable. Even all of her fucking bees are asking what the fuck... What is with the audio cracking? Is audio cracking going on? We're in Kentucky, but I did clean all my floors today. Force myself to do my favorite part of cleaning is the end also. See, there's audio yeah. crackling going on. That's not actually me this time. That's really weird. We're having manic episodes. Oh, yeah, Bata? Never heard of it. Does anyone actually, like, like cleaning or do you all dread it like me? You, but you, you pretend to clean every day. How do you fucking dread it? There's, like, nothing to clean if you clean every day, all day. Um, do I like cleaning? Yeah, I guess. It's fine. It's, like, fine. It's not something really you think about because like most people just like stick on. I, I do it when like a video is rendering or something like that. Or if she's particularly boring during a video. Like I, who knows, I might go and hoover my, my hallway again whilst I'm recording this. Like do you feel like, ugh, I appreciate you being so kind to your audience. Thank you, of course. Why wouldn't I be? Are people mean to You're not. Like, <laughs> I'm so kind to my No, you're not. You let them get dogs and told them that well, it's their fault. They need to be more careful. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? I'm so kind to my audience. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bump her up to 1.5 because we're about five minutes in here and it's like slow, slow motion and it's like, oh my god, it's gonna take forever. So I'm gonna bump it to the 1.5 speed and uh, I don't know, tell me in the comments if you think it's okay or if it's too fast, whatever. And I'll just try and go from there for you guys, especially when I'm doing like when I'm doing a video, I'll keep it at 1.25. When I'm doing live streams, maybe I'll bump it up to 1.5. But let me know down below. That's not me farming engagement. I don't particularly care. Just let me know. Turkish, I don't want to go shopping on my own. No way. Can you? I hate, I don't think I would enjoy that. Not me. Can you? Mm -mm. Not You've here. done it all the time. It's not what? Here. Different vibe. What? <laughs> what the? I, I thought Q8 was like a perfect place for her. I, for her, she's, it was the greatest country that's ever existed. It's not like the Evil West. Remember the Evil West that she was scared to go back to because she was worried that people would kill her for being a Muslim. Yes, that is a claim that she made. But um, no, suddenly she can't go shopping by herself because it's not Canada here. I, I I don't I don't know. I've never been to Kuwait, but like I'm pretty sure women can walk around by themselves. It's not that strict a Muslim country. I know there are like some very, very extreme Muslim countries where you need like a chaperone to walk around. I don't know if it would even apply to Western women, but like it, I, I just don't think Kuwait is that. I'm pretty sure you can go shopping by yourself. That's, that, that sounds really dodgy. <laughs> Look at her face when she's realized, oh I fucked up by saying that. Plus, it's fun going out with Salah. It really is. Oh, it's fun going out with Salah. Oh. It really is, even though we don't talk. <laughs> even though we don't talk. Well, look at my muscular fingers. <laughs> Hi, Hissy Fitz. He's around, Ellie. 
He's oh, a rind. I'm telling you, we're so strong. He's a rind. <laughs> Isn't it nighttime? Wouldn't you hear him? Wouldn't you see him? It's nighttime. <laughs> like she, she said earlier on during this that it was late and she was getting ready to go to bed. She was sitting near a bite to go to bed. Like, I don't even know what time it was when it went, when she went live. I'll go and check that actually quickly here. Okay, my mouth is generally pretty bad, as we all know. But it was like, like I think it was like 10 to 11 o'clock at night when she started the stream. But it's like, where's Sal? Oh, he's, he's, he's around. Shouldn't he be like in the room with you? It's like near, it's like bedtime. Remember, he's like working all the time now, guys. Is she, should he not be in bed? Should he not be able to say, oh, he's in bed already? She Wouldn't that be like a natural reaction then? Oh, he's he's around. Well, thank you. Sometimes no, but why was Cinderella bad at soccer? She kept running from the ball. <laughs> That's good. Join a book club. What if they want me to read like Daniel Steele or something? No offense if you read Daniel Steele, but or John Grisham. I love someone's just like maybe you should get a hobby. And it's like, ah, I don't want to. <laughs> just get a fucking hobby, bro. Maybe it means you don't have to just sit there on your couch all day eating food. Maybe maybe if you just got like a hobby. Like, that'd be just fantastic to play video games. You know, like, Sal of the party, he's out all day now, and you're in the house all day by yourself because he's working so often, guys. Why don't you use his computer that's definitely still in your house and use that computer to play video games? Didn't she do, like, a couple, like, video games Let's Plays before? Like, I was like, on her channel, on his channel, I can't remember, but she did a couple of video game um, Let's Plays. Why don't you start streaming you playing video games? Why don't you do something like that? I usually do open chats. I've only started going back to like, I did a few members chats only. <laughs> she did a few members only chats and no one was talking because she has like no members at all. So, so she has had to go back to actually open chats again. That's when I joked about the 30 seconds at the start of this video. The people who started talking at the start were not members. <laughs> they were, it was because it was an open chat. So if we went from members to chat, it would have been even longer. So that's why she's gone back to open chats. Because like I said, even with an open chat, she is still getting seven pounds in super chats. I'm like, I don't even know, like one thousand something views, like terrible numbers. Address okay. Hi Rudy. These don't require the shisha. You have to clean it every time. Add cold water, ice, make the shisha, the coals, blah blah blah. So is she getting triggered? I, this is the biggest problem with not having the chat. I might maybe pop the chat up or something like that as well. Because like when I do live streams, I generally like try and when I answer the chats, I generally try and read out what the chatter says because like you know. Yeah, you kind of like have to because if like, someone's watching it back, you get this experience where she's like, "Yeah, uh huh, yeah, you're right, exactly." You know that kind of shit where people are like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" You know, like, like unless you have like the chat replay showing up here or something like that. Generally, it's just like kind of like awkward and annoying. Um, I'm assuming she's triggered because people are criticizing her because she's like picked up like another another addiction. She's not smoking cigarettes right now. Instead, she's just constantly hitting this vape like. Every other word she's hitting the vape. I'm too lazy right now. Hi, Pink Stars. Yeah. I'm feeling okay today, Zoe. Are you? You look miserable. <sighs> you look Welcome miserable. And you're hitting that vape worse than I hit cigarettes back when I smoked. Just that word depresses me. <laughs> Everything depresses you. <laughs> Probably dreaming of Evers. Thanks, A. Gomes. Yeah, it is true. And I wasn't rude. I'm just stating facts, you know? By the way, I wouldn't have to look to see what that one was because, like, like it's, it's, just, it's just awkward the way she has this set up. Uh, but the, what she was saying about the, well, yes, actually it is true, true, was the community tab post because the, the random person who's clearly trolling her said, the community tab post she said, they were so true because they obviously wanted to talk about them again. And she's like, yeah, it was true. It wasn't even rude. Even though like, it directly goes against like the video she claimed. <laughs> but for, this, this is dull, guys. Gee, this is a, this is actually a slog to watch because like I said, there, there's no nothing, there's no personality. There's nothing for you to react to because there's, there's nothing for her to react to. She's just sitting staring at the screen going, yeah, you're right, John. <laughs> totally, Paul. Yes, yeah, Samantha. That's true, Jonathan. Just that shit over and over again. Being sniped again, of course. Can you not do your own content? Oh, wait, nobody actually cares about you. Can you do your own content? I love Jill. No, ironically, can you do your own content? Your chat is the is the content here. <laughs> like, like this is, the, this is the biggest problem. We're trying to come out and, and make that, like, fucking flex. Your chat is the content. You haven't said an original, a, like, a single original thought the entire time you've been live streaming. You're just sitting there, blankly staring at your chat, going, you're right. Yeah. Oh, really? Really, John? Oh, my God. 
Yeah, I like that vape too. That is it. That, that is the content so far. We're 15 minutes into it. That is the content so far. <laughs> I, out of everyone in the entire world, I don't think you can say, can you not get your own original content? Can you not? I mean, how about like every time they go live, I snipe them and see how they like it. Hasn't she tried that before? Like, hasn't she like unironically tried like <laughs> the mist has come. Hasn't she tried that before? Like, didn't she try like live sn sniping like Natter and FFG before? And she like very quickly stopped because they could like laugh at her and like mock her like directly to her face and like listen to themselves mocking her and they were all just like laughing at her and she like would just like freak out and her like best positive pause and go like well you're fat camel teeth uh, 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 vocal fry is it wasn't that like all, all like her reaction was to them but they were like loving it because they were pretty much getting shown to her audience as well laughing at her so hasn't she tried it before like, would it be interesting? It'd be a lot more interesting than whatever the fuck she considers this to be. But, like, yeah, sure. Like, I don't know. Stream Snipe fucking just breezing back. Do that. That would actually be kind of funny. It'd be more, more entertaining whatever the shit this is. I feel like I'd love to just watch you get a makeover, like a full glam face. I actually got so bored. Like, I'm not... <laughs> also, I was just sitting blankly staring at this because I was like, well, this isn't a very attractive... Because I've never really done, like, these kind of reactions before. And I was like, well, I'm so bored. I just started fitting around with my OPS. So I've set up, like, a new version uh, which I think looks fine. I think it looks fine. It's not. It's not. It's not hard. Like, Cause like her, 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 her. Like it's always like seven twenty p that she shows up in anyway. So I thought, why not? I'll, I'll change it up and I'll see if this works better. So you guys can actually see more or less what she's like reacting to, as well. I guess. And we kind of got it like floating around here. So I guess that kind of works out a bit. Like I get. I guess. <laughs> oh, fantastic. They have a lot of salons here, so I might go. I'm going to be going to the dentist probably tomorrow or the next day. Well, you'll probably be going for both days because that, does, that looks like a two-day job right there. Like a full cleaning done. I can't wait for your teeth to look no different. Like supposedly lighten and clean their deep clean your teeth. Can't and wait for it to look like no different. To see like, um, if I, I have any cavities or problems with my teeth. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I love she started saying that there and then had to pause because she's like, oh shit. It makes it sound like there is something wrong if they're already jumping straight to x-rays. It's like, uh, just... Just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just, just to see. Spilling defamation, stealing a lot of criminal. I know Italian. I know. And it's really hard to defend yourself, you know, like. It's stalking, bullying, defamation, stealing. A lot of criminal behavior. You know, like criminal behavior of bullying. <laughs> I'm going to arrest you for bullying. <laughs> <laughs> you bullies the same bullies. <laughs> What's a bully hunter or something like that? Uh, stalking, watching someone publicly is not stalking. Firstly, okay, it Italian titbits. <laughs> Weird name. Uh, stalking, firstly, if you're watching someone's public live stream, not stalking. Uh, bullying, not bullying to mock someone, uh, just in general. Defamation, I like, like, that's kind of vague. You'd have to sp specify what they're actually saying. If you're saying, like, animal abuser, it's not defamation. If FFG is able to post, like, receipts and stuff like that, that's not defamation, then. Which also isn't criminal. It's, like, it's, that would be civil, wouldn't it? That would be a civil case. It wouldn't actually be a criminal case. And stealing. Stealing is the only thing that you potentially have. However, it would be copyright infringement, which would not be, like, is that, cri is it, would that even be considered, like, criminal? Would that also be done through a civil suit as well? Because it's not theft. Because, like, you know, if they're sitting there reacting to it, then there's, like, they could technically an argument that they have. This is the thing that Foodie Beauty also doesn't get, is that you see that message pop up. You probably should just, like, not react to it. See this person, the dreaming of Everest person, who's clearly a troll, don't defend yourself. They are right. Like, if someone is live stream sniping you, sitting there reacting about it, and, like, getting pissy about it, it, it you're giving the person who is stream sniping you content. It, wouldn't it be better just to ignore them? Like, wouldn't it just be better? I'm not, like, a celebrity. I'm not super affluent, you know, and I'm not even in the same country anymore, so it's hard. I'm not super affluent. How does you being, like, super rich or whatever the fuck make any difference to someone extreme sniping you? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not even in the not same country. Sure. I got someone, someone commented that on one of my videos one time. They said, like, what is someone from Ireland doing reacting to this? Do you not have anything better today? It's like... What the fuck do you think happens in Ireland? Do you think we spend like 80% of our time in the potato field? What is her saying? I'm not even in the same country as her anymore. It's like, isn't just Breezen like American? Aren't you like never in the same country as her? Definitely. Except that time you ran over the border to get a Sonic slushy and got, got, got locked out of Canada because of COVID. <laughs> Anyone who, like there's so many dentists here <laughs> and clinics. You just walk in. 
I don't buy that. I, I, I don't buy it. Like, sure, there might be a lot of dentists, but I don't buy it because you saw him at the dental appointment still. I don't buy that it is just like a walk-in clinic. You just show me like, hi there, I, w- I want this. She goes like, I'm, I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be getting x-rays. It's like, well, you're talking like this is already pre-planned. So it's not it's a walk-in. I don't think you can just walk in and go like, hi there, x-ray my wife. It's like, oh, yes, sir. No problem whatsoever. Scared, no. That just means it's not happening. On yourself anymore. Yeah. I'm trying to just live my life. Are you? Waiting for a rage. Imagine that's your life, waiting for someone to rage. I could never. I, I, I don't think I could ever sit there and wait, and not for a rage, but for someone to message something so that I could respond to it. Because <laughs> that's all I have, is just sitting there waiting, hoping one of my people in chat will say something that I could respond to. I can't understand that. I'm a YouTube celeb. Well, we don't get any protection from anything. No, you do, but you know. Thanks, Bubba. It's hard to believe YouTube does nothing. I know. I thought you did. I thought I thought you said they did. I thought you said you had a, a secret background manager who you've been communicating with and everyone's about to get taken down. And also you're the one who demonetized Just Breeze In and Gorlick Bread. And here there's another person I think got demonetized. She claimed that she was the one who got them all demonetized. But now it's just like, yeah, YouTube doesn't do anything ever. <laughs> what? <clears throat> there's literally no filters right now. <laughs> so. Okay. And when I'm filmed in like my walking videos it's filmed with an iphone that doesn't have any filters so okay it's just an excuse didn't didn't she like get like a like an iphone specific because she had a samsung originally and she didn't know how to work the filters on it because it was like those awkward times where she's filming herself and you saw her without the filters and she was freaking out and then she went and like got an iphone like she had just bought the brand new samsung and she literally changed it within like a week because she, like, she didn't have the filters on it what what, what remember that guys like what are you what's the cope no, I didn't take a walk today, but I did a lot of vigorous housework. Hi, Tracy. So, what? <laughs> did a lot of vigorous housework. It's like, what do you do? I, I, uh, I, I vacuumed. It's like, oh, really? Oh, did you vacuum like a sports stadium or something like that? It's like, no. Like a, like a, a an eight, eight by three apartment. It's like, oh. Me sideways. I really feel like I should just do like, like I, I should just imitate what like watching a foodie beauty live li- stream is. So we're sitting there, we're, we're staring blankly ahead. Turbo tools. The <laughs> how meep. Yeah, I agree. Tracy, nice to see you too. Mickey D, what's your favorite cereal? Mine's raisin bran. Oh, I love raisin bran. Jenna, hot dog and a strong ass bitch. I like hot dogs. Turbo toots. Booze and sneezes. What the fuck? <laughs> Booze and senses elderly people are my way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. There, that, that, there are, that is my, that is my, uh, <laughs> my performance of literally how Foodie Beauty acts during her live stream. Getting very always defends you, look. <laughs> He's pretty funny. I like him. He For defends my success me. arc? All right, let's do this. I'm going to go walking tomorrow. Um, somewhere nice. There's a lot of nice. That's the good Burke, thing. do you like to swim? I like to swim. Barbara. Kuwait. It's not like the evil West. Elodie. Uh, yeah, so, so many parts. Falcor. Something. There you go, guys. That's my second rendition of what it's like to watch a foodie beauty live stream. <laughs> I think about here, there's a lot of nice places to walk. I like swimming, Brooke. Is the food better in Kuwait than Canada? I think so. <laughs> I like the type of food here. I fucking... Uh, am I right? Am I going for three for three? It. Yeah, I've talked a lot about it before. I can definitely talk about that again. It's just on hold. Our couple's channel's on hold for now. Oh my god, I yeah. literally... I, was I four for four? Was I actually four for four? Do you like to swim? Yes. Food better in Kuwait and Canada? Yes, because it's Kuwait. I love to hear about the parts of being Muslim. Yes, I'll, I, I, I've talked about it before and I'll talk about it again. again. What's going to happen with couple channel? Something in the future. I, did I literally... Was I four for four? That's why I said this is literally what it's like watching a foodie beauty like live stream. She just sits there and stares at the chat, and that's it. It's not Cheetos. It's um, and I did wash my hands. It stains. I don't know if it's like turmeric they put in it, but um, those sunflower seeds, the barbecue ones. <laughs> okay, so she's just admitted she's been sitting here. But, you know, like the the woman who's been so I mean such vigorous exercising today, guys. I'm back on track already. She apparently has been sitting binging on those uh on the the sunflower seeds that are for the guests oh again i'm so surprised you know this is i said this is the content i have no energy 
Then fucking log off! This is what I said. This is the content. It is seriously the content. It's just staring blankly at the screen going, mm, looks beautiful there. It is beautiful here. Best movie you've seen recently? I've seen lots of movies recently. Spaghetti and Meatballs? Oh, I love Spaghetti and Meatballs. That is, that is all she does. Because this is her idea of having friends. Like, she is lonely. She is sitting in the house by herself. And it is just sitting there going like, Hey guys, do you want to... Do you want to talk to me? Yeah, I realize it's like 11 o'clock at night, but like, you know, do you want, do you want to talk to me? Because my husband's not here. <laughs> it's like, it's so sad. You miss home? I miss my uh, family, that's about it. I'm not sure, Skyman. Will we ever see a keto diet arc? How does she not realize she got trolled there? A man called Scatman asked, when is Sala coming back? And she actually answered it. She's so desperate for people to talk to her that she seriously was able to answer a scat man thing. And below this video, she actually has King Beezer's channel, Al Sultan Salah. She still links to his channel and the couple's channel below this video. Like, bro, what the fuck? Uh, I have to use the washroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> Excuse me, wait. Wow. We made it 30 minutes into the, well, not even 30 minutes into the video before she has to run and shit. Fantastic. Fa amazing. She came back with cat treats because she ca her cat isn't interested in her, doesn't want anything to do with her, so she had to go and get cat treats, and yes, she has been gone for nearly five minutes to take a shit so maybe you know maybe i was wrong maybe sala was around maybe sala came in and she was just like ah there you go the one thing i noticed was earlier on she suddenly muted for like two seconds and was like giggling so clearly she muted to fart and then right after that she says i need to go to the toilet so i mean she shit herself that is all i can do so yeah she went and got cat treats because uh, her cat doesn't like her so she has to just try and throw cat like cat treats at it hoping it'll like, come near her again that's okay, eggs on legs. I don't really... No, that's what I wanted to say. Okay. So... Are you going to address the Arabic thing, called? thing finally? Is social relationships? Is that what it's called? What? Where it's like, um... I... Unless I'm already your friend and I already talked to you on social media, I'm, I, I'm just like... What? Didn't she say eggs on legs? Didn't she? Like, I actually say, if you're going to stay, you need to learn the language. Otherwise, you'll always be seen as an outsider who doesn't put an effort saying as an expat. Where's the part social thing coming from? I, I, I don't want to sound snobby, and I don't want to sound like I don't want to talk to people, but I don't. If I seem, like, distant and I don't answer a lot of comments, it's because I am i don't trust... She, she answers, like, every single comment that is in any way positive offer. So this is just a fucking cope. ...anybody that I don't know in real life. So... That's not answering his question. I mean, I think I have reason to feel that way. You know, I just... Um, was there a different yeah, one? Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I just keep to myself a lot. Was yeah, there... you do have to watch your back. For what sure. the fuck I is she do. talking about? The, the egg person she talked about is about Arabic, about her not learning the language, which is a good, solid point. And then she starts, what the fuck? Was this edited afterwards or something like that? And then she goes into this long, like... What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> but there are, like, few people that, like, have my phone number, but I trust them, you know? And um, I know they would never do anything. <laughs> but, you know, you, you never know. But I do trust them. I'm just, I'm, go I'm just going to skip here because she has just been rambling incoherently about this friendship thing online, which, like I said, came out of nowhere because that's not even what the person was saying that she was answering. But, like, she, it feels now because she was at the point where she's saying, like, there are a few people, though, who have my phone number because I trust them so much. And it's like, but, okay, firstly... That you, you made the exact same claim with like the Holy Trinity and all those previous ones. So like this is exactly the same as we've done before. And at this point, it's like, I don't actually buy that because like she doesn't really have, like cause you can, I've had loyal beezers who I've known for years and we've talked for years, guys. But like every single time I've ever like looked at a live stream, it's always been brand new names. I don't recognize a single person from like a year ago because they do change constantly because either they got banned and they came back under a new star puppet account or whatever i, I just don't buy it her saying like oh, some of them do have my phone number now it just seems like so unnecessary to say when she's trying to bat away this power social thing but but also i feel it's just her trying to say it to be like by the way guys i do actually have friends though please don't read out the lame jokes no i don't wear my hijab to bed <laughs> no who's always sniping and making dumb jokes i know i'm so against stream sniping like 
I wish there was something that can be done about it. I really do. Because none of these people would appreciate it if I did that to them. Stole their content. <laughs> he likes pop. I'm going to argue, because I, I, fuck me, Jesus, it's been so boring. I'm going to argue that I guarantee that people would be okay with it. Like, I, I, like a lot of reactors, I think they'd be totally fine if she did, like, do a reaction to their content. Because... One, she's bad at it, so it's not like she would ever really get like a slam dunk on people. And two, she is just, every time she talks about someone, she is just pushing people towards them, and is more than likely the next. She's giving them content as well. Like that's like when you say like they're leeches and they're just stealing all your shit, and then you give them shit to react to, then I don't think they're ever going to be sad about it. I could probably strike him for the OnlyFans stuff. You could. That was under a paywall, and that's like private. No. Like. Uh, see, okay. The thing is, like. Someone's making a point. Natter is live showing her OnlyFans stuff with fruit on the spot. I don't even know what that's referring to. Because luckily, I've never seen her OnlyFans stuff from my memory. I'm pretty sure I'd remember it if I have seen it. But uh, no, it's, it's people have this weird idea about like copyright and fair use and stuff like that, where like people think that fair use doesn't apply. Like this, like what she's doing right now, it's like well, it's available for free, so it's not protected by copyright, and you could easily react to it. But if she, if this is members only content, you couldn't do that. It's like no, you can. You can do it. like fair use is fair use. Like like it, it it doesn't matter. It can be applied to anything. It's why people can do like movie reactions and show the movies because it is covered by fair use. They're able to sit there and do that. They're able to talk about it. The biggest issue people have with like um, copyright with movies isn't because of um, copyright claims. It's due to or like the content ID system that YouTube automatically does. Wherever you use too much of a movie clip, it may detect and say you're showing too much of this and just instantly shut you down. And it doesn't matter. It's not like an official copyright claim or anything like that. It just shuts you down instantly. Like, it, it, just because her OnlyFans was behind a paywall does not mean it suddenly is not covered by fair use. If he was showing it off in a fair use way, which I'm, I guarantee he's not because he's like a pile of shit, then like it, it, she, he'd still be able to show it, but he, he more than likely isn't. So, mm. but like, I don't know. If, if you're really that fussed about it, maybe you should strike him. But, like, she won't because she's lazy. Just like the the, the, the lawsuit where finally she was going to get FFG and she was going to take BBJ back, you know, when she went back to Canada. And then she just, like, didn't. Sexual stuff, right? I think I can. Sexual stuff also isn't copy yeah, covered by fair use. Well, isn't not covered by fair use. Tracy! I fully trust you, Tracy. Can you tell us about the barbecue you had in the schedule? <laughs> you little... Uh, yeah. You're a friggin' beezer. As if, as if you remembered that. <laughs> You're the one who deliberate. You're the one who deliberately wrote it down to show it off. I. It was so funny because I didn't even notice it at the time, but someone in the comments pointed out that she had written it was like barbecue at three p.m., but she would written it in the twelve o'clock sl slot, so you'd be able to see it in frame. That's like desperate. She wants to try and get people to see it. Oh, you guys remembering that? It's like you literally made up a barbecue so people would try and talk about it. So you pretend you have a fucking life. <laughs> Can you film yourself on the beach saying- Are we just not going- Can you tell us about the barbecue yet? <laughs> so next question. Oh my god. Oh, that's embarrassing, bro. Come on, just admit you didn't do anything. That's really sad. Earlier on, she was asked, when's your next, like, date? And she goes, oh, we go, on, we go on so many dates. I can't wait to go out and start filming me walking again. As if, like, her walking is a date. <laughs> so, oh, so was the barbecue also a date? Imagine if you left YouTube. Right, babe. It's true. It's true. Think about it. What do you guys think would happen? Nothing. People would like, react to something else. Imagine if you left YouTube. Oh, I might, what would the reacting channels do? It's like, I don't know. Keep working their nine to fives. React to something else. Something like that, I guess. It just, Jesus. Really, bro. Bit self important of you. The world would no. change. <laughs> I can't tell you about the barbecue. The barbecue doesn't exist? Yeah, teardrop. Who knows? No, I can't tell you about the barbecue. It's like, why? Why? Why not? Like, it's as simple as that. Like, why? Why can't you tell us about the barbecue? Because, is it because it doesn't exist? Because usually you'd be like, oh yeah, barbecue. It was really nice. It was Salah and a couple of his friends. Because he mentions like Salah's friends and all, like happily. So like, if, if why why can you not mention if it was like with his friends, it was with his family? Like, I, I don't think people are be able to dox you because you had a barbecue at three p.m. Yeah, the cooler weather, I gotta take advantage of it. Cause it's gonna be hot and I'm getting, I don't know, I wanna travel for the full summer here. It's, you know, there's so many other countries that are just so, like they're affordable to stay in for a long period of time. <laughs> Taiwan is so cheap. Well. Oh my God. Sorta. Well, oh shit, what, what was my claim? 
Remember the way she like did her claim about Thailand, how about how much she spent for the six week holiday, and then she had to like suddenly like nearly double it wasn't that wasn't she 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 did her estimate of how much it cost, and then suddenly Salah came back and it was like double the price. Like I said, oh Salah can actually confirmed the actual amounts for me, and it was like double the price, and I was like, bro, no way it was. Um, she also was trying to gloat about how rich she was because she went to Thailand, but the night she just accidentally said, well Thailand's so cheap because Thailand is incredibly cheap. Like, really, really, really cheap. So her gloat just suddenly fell apart there. Like, I just don't get it. It's like, I want to travel the entire summer. Because there are other cheap countries that we could go to, guys. It's like, yeah, well, it's called a visa run, firstly. Like, we all do know that. I wonder where she's going to go. I was waiting for her to say, like, Malaysia. Because there's Muslims there, guys. Oh, we're going to restock on the chocolate <laughs> bars, guys. I'm going to have one mamul. <laughs> one chocolate bar. Someone asked her to prove the me that messy girl, whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, uh, chocolate bar tray reveal. That messy girl who's clearly a troll because they're the one who's also pressuring her about the barbecue earlier on. So they're clearly just a troll trying to dig for information here by being a member. Um, they I, they said, oh, can you show us the chocolate bar tray? It's like, uh, yeah, I guess. And then brought it over. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's that's new chocolate bars because like the breakaway bars and all. I don't think they were in any of the last holes. So it's like new chocolate Yet again. And like, as soon as it comes closer, it's like, well, I'm going to have something from it. <laughs> oh, my God. Straight back to engine, boys. <laughs> I think... So I've been to Cuba, the United States. What? You drove over the border, calm down. Qatar. Went to the airport, calm down. Um, I'm not going to consider... <laughs> oh, my God, some bars. Dubai, like... because I just went to the airport. You also, in Qatar as well. So Kuwait. <laughs> Thailand. I think that's it, though. It is. Jesus Christ. I think so. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, that's really... Uh, sorry, I'm standing up because I was doing some cleaning in the background because I'm just letting this play. Uh, it's really embarrassing that she is trying to claim... It's like, okay, she's talking about, like, what country she's gone to because she's trying to flex, I guess. And she claimed America, even though she drove across the border to get, like, a Sonic slushy and hot dog. Like, I, re cause I, re I remember specifically watching that video. That's like, the only time she's been to America. She went to Cuba. Yeah, okay, she went to Cuba. She went to Cuba for a few days because she was trying to t take Natter on holiday and everything fell apart for her there. So I... I I probably wouldn't talk about it with glee. Um, where else does she claim that she's went there? Uh, uh, Qatar. She went to the airport. Um, Kuwait, Thailand. So she's been to like, if, if I'm being generous, she's been to Kuwait because I guess technically she lives there now. Thailand, she had to go on a visa run. And Cuba, she tried to like, win over Nada with that. So like, yeah, is that more than some people do? Certainly. But when you're trying to add other ones onto it to sound like more impressive, it's actually like, genuinely really embarrassing when you're trying to well actually uh, guys well I technically also count as uh, America even though I just went across the border for six hours uh, uh, Doha uh, you know Qatar all that kind of shit it's like that's like me saying like oh well I've been to fucking China Italy Finland Tokyo you know like if I just like start listing all places that I've landed in during like transfer flights or something like that <laughs> Lexi but I don't know what the big deal is, like, why people are like, oh, she's visa hopping, like, who cares? Like, really? Who cares? What, I don't what, know what the big deal is. A lot of people... She just... That, by the way, I know I'm skipping to this, but she does just kind of just suddenly bring this up, because the Lexi person said, why Dubai? I think will be a good experience. Good amount. Oh, ma'am. Like, it's not, that's something to do with visa hopping. We weren't even talking about, like, visa hopping. She was trying to gloat earlier on, like, a couple of minutes ago, that she randomly had jump the border into Qatar to go on a luxury two-day holiday by herself to stay in a really nice hotel. I keep so many secrets from you guys, which was just, like, purely just, like, made up. But, like, I, I don't know where the visa hopping thing came from. It's, like, the reason people make, make a big deal of it is because you make a big deal of it. It's kind of like the chicken strips thing. We say, like, I don't even know why, people, why are people so crazy and weird and stalkers and obsessed about chicken strips. Jesus, guys. It's, it's like, it's not because anyone cares about chicken strips. It's because you lied about it. That's what people are calling you for. It's not. No one cares about the chicken strips. It's because you lied about it, bro. It's like the it's like the 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 visa thing. Like people care about it because you claim you don't need to do it because you are a resident in Kuwait. However, everything you say goes against the whole residency thing, and you say you don't need to visa hop. However, especially every three months you have to leave the country. Like that's why people care about it. So it's weird that you suddenly bring it up and are arguing that it's fine. Like even if that was what I was doing. Loads okay. of people do it, even if that's what was what I'm doing, which I'm not. But you know, even if I was doing, it, I'm still winning. This, I remember making this point in one of my videos recently, where she always has to argue both sides because she has to be right regardless. 
It's like, well, I'm not doing that. Be and by the way, that is me winning. However, if I am doing that, well, I'm still winning because I uh, fuck you guys. It, she has to do it every single time, and it makes it so obvious that she is covering for herself. <laughs> I'm not doing it, but even if I am, it's still incredible. Um, but I'm not. But you know, even if I was to do it, it's still okay. But I, but I'm just so you know, I'm not. But if I was, it's fine. But I'm just not. In case you were wondering, however, just if I might. If I was, I, I it's fine. But you know, I'm just, like, bro. Fucking hell. <laughs> it, this is why people make fun of you for it. Because you care so much about it and it's really fucking cringe. Business. Hi, Jerry. Are people that hungry for content? That, like, oh my god, she like, keeps going. Worry about that? She keeps going. It's because you lied, bro. That's it. She's so upset. Know. Calm down. I didn't look for my Fitbit yet. <laughs> I have to. I think my phone has a tracker, no? Now I'm starting to get hot. Look at my face changing and I'm sweating. I think my phone has a tracker. Well, yes, it would. Weird that you haven't been able to show us any of your step crunch so far. Most beautiful countries. But Kuwait has really nice malls. I haven't even shown you guys yet. And we have old souks here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's so many nice malls I haven't even shown you yet. Wow. Yeah. Can't, can't wait. So, so, so excited for that. Yay. Fucking Jesus. Oh, God. Do you know what? Uh, uh, unironically. I enjoy her walking videos and like her cooking videos so much more than this. Like so, so much more than this. Because these, like I said, there's nothing. It is just like, messy girl. You know the reaction channels are going to say the guitar shape with the visa run. You just need to ruin the butt ASAP. Mm, crazy that they would think that. You're so right. Brittany. A yo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Haley, Russia would be cool. Russia would be cool. It's that. It's that. It's why I prefer the walking videos. Because it's not just her blankly staring, going, please, someone insert a personality into me. I'd rather her try and pretend to have a personality than just wait for, like, fucking Rebe to give her one. I can go to a lot of old soups here. So don't worry. And we have... I want to go to, like, Bahrain. I want to go to... Um... Um... um. Places. I want to go to Bahrain and uh, um, dip, such as with for, with and other places, <laughs> bro. What the fuck are you not even a single other country that you want to go to? Dubai seems nice, but too touristy. Like there's just too many people there now. Everyone wants to go there. Turkey, eh? It's very opulent. Yeah, I like it here. But also like going to the less opulent areas. What are you talking about? You live in a shithole. <laughs> I, I was just like, what? <laughs> Some opulence here. Mm, I love it. You live in a shithole. What are you talking about? <sighs> 200 is the heaviest you've ever been. 200 kg. I just, fuck, I'm so, I'm so, you know, like, the definition of insanity is just doing the same thing over and over again, hoping that it, that it actually works and gets better. I feel like that's where I'm at in this. I'm like the sunk cost fallacy, where I, I, about half an hour into this, I was like, I am so done with this live stream. It is so boring. Uh, <laughs> I just kept going. I just, I kept going. Um, so, so boring. There's basically nothing to say, like, at all. It's so so dull. Like I said, it, there's nothing. It is just staring at the chat, going, Lexi, no Chantel, I am a boomer, old fashioned, tagless, tuck fart. <laughs> Me too. Brittany is. It's just that. It's just that. It, over and over. But the thing I love is this Jill Williams person said, 200 is the heaviest I ever been. Because someone asked her about her weight recently, and she said, um, like 365 pounds, I think, you know, like uh, 165 kg by 365 pounds. And someone said 200 is the heaviest I have ever been. And I think everyone in the entire world goes, oh, 200 pounds. Foodie. No, 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 not foodie. Foodie assumes this person must be 200 kilograms. Because I, because in foodie's mind, being 165 kilograms really isn't that heavy. So it's like, oh, you must be, oh, she's, this woman's 200 kilograms because that's what she thinks. She thinks that she is not super morbidly obese. She does not think she is the freak. She thinks like 165 pounds, that's kind of light. There's people like 200 kilograms out there. That kind of shit. Oh my God, I believe we're nearly done. We're so nearly fucking done. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever do this again. I think this was a little bit of an experiment. I don't know if I'll ever do this again, which is unfortunate because like, She's not giving us a lot of content right now. 
Um, it's kind of all like petered off after the walking videos died um, because she's just totally failed her weight loss um, once again, which we all knew was going to happen. But now that she's lonely and she's live streaming every day for seven pounds, for, for seven pounds, which is basically like, I don't know what, four and a half pounds an hour or something like that she's she's currently earning. Uh, it's just so dire. And I just, I just, I, I, it's not even enough for me to laugh at and make fun of. So we'll finish this one off and then that'll be us. <laughs> I don't think so, Lexi. I like giving my love life further now. Mm. <laughs> I need to go. I'm sweaty. I'm slipping. Look pretty soon I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> what do I slip? Do you guys slip when you're on the couch? I'm just gonna make a point because she just brought it up herself. But she is like, this is like the 17th time she said goodbye since like I don't know the last two seconds. Um, she just keeps saying anyway. That's me. That should be me going here, and then she just kind of stays because she is just desperately lonely. But she is sitting there sweating. And even she said it. She is sweating sitting still. Like during like winter in Kuwait in her own house with the air conditioning on. She is somehow still sweating. I I, I can't imagine it's because of the heat. There it must be a medical issue for her to be sweating indoors during winter. Something is something is actually wrong with her finally. Yeah, so really, genuinely awful, awful stream. Like, it's so funny that after, like, my last couple of videos where I made a big point about her just not having a personality, like, these kind of streams just prove it, where it is just blankly staring at the screen, hoping se someone says something, she goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that too. And that's that's it. That is all the interaction she had. Um, obviously, constant, like, snipping at reaction channels throughout the entire thing. Nothing, like, super, super interesting uh, about it. Um... The only one I think I didn't like pause to talk over because I think I was out of the room at that point was when she randomly brought up FFG's lumberjack. Um, and she she said, if I made a claim that I had a guy who looked like a lumberjack and I wouldn't show him on screen, everyone would pick me apart. But for her, apparently, no. And it's like, like it's so weird that Foodie is like, I don't know, is it egotistical, narcissistic, or whatever it is. But she doesn't seem to realize that levels of scrutiny, do they obviously get applied to people differently. Because like if you're someone who's shown to be like a very dishonest person like Foodie Beauty clearly has, you are going to get like a worse level of scrutiny than someone who like might, I don't know, might be dishonest, but might not be as dishonest as you. So like, yes, it, it's, like, it's like, I've never once had someone go, prove, where's, where's your girlfriend? Prove, have her, come on, show her on, on camera. Oh, you don't, because I, I don't think I've ever given a reason for people to think that I'm lying about that, you know? But for Foodie, if Foodie suddenly came out looking like this, having no personality, being as bad a person as she is, suddenly goes, yes, I have a husband who I met, and I, within one day, I've already decided to change my religion to be his, and then I'm flying out next week to marry him. Like, people are like, sorry, fucking what? That kind of, like, that, that puts up red flags, especially when we knew she was lying after the Natter thing about all the guys she's sleeping with to try and make Natter jealous because she wanted Natter back. So, like, obviously people are going to, like, scrutinize her talking about, like, relationships more than they're talking about, like, Maybe FFG, maybe me, any other reactors. I don't fucking know. I don't know if other reactors have girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever. Like, so I don't know. Maybe other reactors do get criticized or mocked just as much for it. I have no idea. But, like, I, it's weird that she doesn't seem to get that, like, at all. It's not one of the situations where she's like, I'm so confused, guys. You know, like, that thing I call out a lot? It doesn't seem like that. It seems like this is actual just genuine delusion. It's like, why aren't people being as criticized as I am being? Uh, but, yeah, really, really bad. I, like... This was an experiment. It's probably gone really badly. Uh, if anyone who watched this far, I do hope you enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to do this again because I didn't enjoy it. And if I didn't enjoy it, I don't think you guys are going to enjoy it. So that's going to be it, guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.